Hey guys, welcome back to Startup Central. Today, we are going to be talking about a number of things related to airdrops. The first two are about airdrops that already happen or are about to happen with snapshot staking. And the other three are about airdrops that you can qualify for. And I'm going to summarize what you need to do. And in further videos, I'm going to do uh, tutorials and step-by-step -step guides for those. But I wanted you to be aware because there are a number of things that you can complete on yourself. Uh, like liking tweets and all that stuff. What's up with that further ado? Let's get started. Okay, guys. So first thing, uh, wormhole, which is one of the bridges that I, uh, you know, encourage you to qualify for, has already taken a snapshot, and they are going to be uh, signing a lot of tokens to users who participated on that. Uh, if you have not watched that video, I'm going to place it over there because there's not one bridge that is going to be airdropping. There's actually three that I talked on that video. So uh, one of them, Wormhole, already took that snapshot, but the other two, Owl2 and Orbiter Finance, they have not yet taken the snapshot. So I would urge you to go and check that video and try to qualify for them because uh, it is said, it is heard that they probably will be airdropping sometime this quarter, or at least taking the snapshot. So I'm going to show you my browser so we can follow along and see what's going on with the airdrop world of crypto. So here is, this is the wormhole uh, main website. And what they're saying is that uh, there has already been a snapshot. So if you participated by bridging funds to and from the networks, the blockchains that were available with them, then um, you will probably receive this airdrop. Now, uh, the airdrop of Wormhole is going to be massive, guys. They are really, really well funded. So um, what they're saying here is that 17% of the token supply will be allocated to the community of those who have participated and done exchanges through them. Um, so that's around 1.7 billion W with that will be the name of that token. Now, there is a specific way this will be assigned because it's not all going to be delivered at once to your wallet. It's going to be um, done in different steps. So 11% of this allocation will be unlocked at the generation token generation event, and the rest will be airdropped um, in different months. So 11% um, will be unlocked and the six remaining will be unlocked four months after TGE. So that's what you can expect. Now, when will the TGE or token generation event be? Uh, we have not been told, but I would dare it's uh, sometime in this quarter. So that's before the halving, probably. If that does happen, guys, the halving is going to level up, you know, pull up all the prices of all tokens. So whatever you receive in W, probably you can multiply that just by the fact that Bitcoin is going up and you know, pulling all ships up. So that's that's this wormhole uh, airdrop. So I hope you participated. If you did participate, write it in the comments because I want to know who is uh, benefiting from these videos because I am making them so a lot of people can get profits and improve their lives. So that is uh, something that I would love to, to see and I would love you to be one of those persons. So, okay, that's where about wormhole. Let's go to Dimension. I already also created one video about this airdrop some months ago, uh, and I not, not some months, probably some weeks ago, and I showed you what you needed to do to qualify, and it was really simple by the fact that uh, you had some activity on Solana, and we had a lot of videos about Solana airdrops. So if you participated in those uh, activities, then you probably qualified for this uh, token airdrop. And the next thing you need to decide if you got them is what to do with them. Now, you could sell them on the market and the price of, of Dimension of Dim is already high. It's about $5.50 or something like that at the time of recording this video. And that's a good price. Uh, now, I would not sell everything because by the fact, by virtue of staking Dim you will probably be qualifying for a lot more airdrops because that's how the Cosmos ecosystem airdrops work. And I'm going to be making a video on the Cosmos ecosystem's airdrops because they are uh, a unique kind of airdrops compared to everything else. So 
Now, this is the portal where you can stake. So if you don't haven't figured out what how to stake Dimension, it's really easy. I'm going to place the links as usual in the description of this video, uh, starting with this one, where you can actually go ahead and stake your DIM. As you can see, I already staked mine. Uh, I chose this uh, validator because I have used that uh, with other tokens. So um, the earliest you can stake, the better APY you will get. Uh, it doesn't say exactly around here. How, what's the current APY? Well, it's around 35%, so that's not bad. And um, I've already received two DIM in about three, four days, just because I staked this uh, you know, as soon as I could. So uh, you have a lot of validators to choose from. Uh, some charge you 10% commission, some charge you 5% commission. Normally in the Cosmos ecosystem, we try to choose a validator that's outside the main, main 10, not including Binance and you know, Coinbase and all those, because uh, potentially those will receive uh, more airdrops. So um, it is said, guys, I've heard that a staking dimension will qualify you for more airdrops. So if you got DIM, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but if you were my best friend and you were asking me what to do, I would show you uh, where to stake half of that at least. And then probably if you need to sell the rest, uh, then that's, you know, it, it's okay. I mean, you're taking some profits off the table. So that's the thing. I did stake everything. Um, and um, I'm, I'm already seeing the benefits of that. Now, if you want to unstake, you will need to wait for an unbonding period of 21 days. So that's three weeks, guys. Uh, just um, take that into account. Now, that's Dimension. Now, let's go to another one. This is uh, on Galaxy. And I know, guys, I know Galaxy needs to improve uh, some of their processes. But there is a lot of opportunities here. Now, this is an L2 Hyper Network. And they have this quest page, uh, and there's a number of quests. Most of them, as you can see, that you know, I've already gotten some green one is is a social media thingy. So uh, just click here, and you will get your check mark. Now, in here, there is a bridge to to L2, and I will create a video specifically for this separately. So I will probably link that. I mean, I'm I'm going to place it on the channel, but I probably link that in this video for your further. Uh, reference. Um, but it's it's not that hard. So that's one I just wanted to be uh, make to make you aware of it. I don't see any deadline yet. But that doesn't mean they will assign a deadline at some point. So let's click here and see if yeah, so for some reason, it says 24 the first of January, but I was able to complete this test. So I wouldn't be too concerned. And some of them um, this is like for the 29th of February, so uh, still a ways ago. So um, I would advise the more you do here, the more points you get and the more of the airdrop you can qualify for. So I'm going to link again this in the description of this video so you can access it easily because searching through Galaxy page, uh, the website is kind of messy and um, I want to abbreviate the time for you because I want you to focus on qualifying and not on searching for this quest. Now let's go to another one and this is Monad. Now uh, this is not their official website. This is just an explanation. Uh, Monad is an L1 and uh, this L1 has some unique selling propositions. One of which is, I mean, they have a what 10,000 transaction per second efficiency. That's not unheard of in this day and age. We know Solana is super fast, although they did have a problem a couple days ago where they had to stop their blockchain for five hours. So um, now this type of projects will be able to say, you see, Solana did that and we don't have that problem. We'll see. It's still uh, something that we will need to realize once the mainnet is on. Now, um, there's not many people who have qualified for Monet because it's it takes time, guys. Uh, but again, it is said that this will be a very, very strong airdrop and you need to work a little bit. But then again, I'm going to record a video on Monad specifically because there's a, an amazing community and uh, you get to make friends. And uh, by doing this, 
you qualify for more and more potential airdrops of Monad. So I just want to, to bring this to your attention, explain what this is, why it is uh, a good idea to start qualifying. Again, I'm going to make a video in the coming days about Monad. There's no deadline. I mean, I think this, this particular airdrop will take some more time for them to airdrop because they are uh, trying to release the testnet by the end of March, sometime in March. So we still have time, but it took me around a month. Uh, it's not too hard to qualify, but it takes some effort. It's, it takes a number of days of you doing simple activities, uh, very, very simple activities. And basically that's just talking with people on Discord. But uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is they raised already $19 million and they don't even have a testnet. So uh, this could be a very, very interesting airdrop. Uh, and so subscribe to this channel if you want to learn how to qualify for this, for Hyper and for the upcoming airdrops that I'm going to be speaking about. Next, we have Rhino. So Rhino is one of those bridges I already discussed on that video about qualifying for airdrops on bridges, they have released a quest page on layer three. So layer three is kind of like Galaxy, kind of like Interact. So um, it's a group of tasks that you need to complete in order to get more experience points. Now with experience points, uh, normally protocols or blockchains will take this into account to decide how many of their tokens they will assign to you. So if you want to get more, then you need to do more quests, more tasks. So I'm going to place the link in the description of this video. And also I am going to be creating a video, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this, which is another reason guys for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel because this is coming in the coming days. So um, just so you know, this is an airdrop that is also coming and it should take you in their um, evaluation. If you take your time, uh, you would be getting all of these quests done within six weeks. Uh, some of them are really, really simple. But again, guys, uh, wait for that video. It's going to be recorded and updated and uploaded to the channel. Last but not least, Mode is a new blockchain, a new L2. So that's an Ethereum compatible L2. And they have released their uh, quest page on Intract. So if you go back to that linear um, airdrop that we discussed earlier, uh, they were doing this quest on Intract with it, which is a really you know, easy to use and friendly, user-friendly platform. I like it more than Galaxy, at least so far at the recording time of recording video. Uh, this is a more smooth experience. So it should not take you that much. As you can see, it's just a few tasks. They have two different campaigns. They, they have this one uh, and they have this other one, bridge to mode. So in both cases, you will probably need, I mean, it's not probably in hyper and in the case of bridge to mode, you will need to bridge. Uh, there are many different ways to bridge. They suggest using their official bridge. That would mean that you would need to bring Ethereum from the ETH main chain. Uh, now, the thing is, if you have heard about Denkun, that's an upgrade to the Ethereum chain and Denkun will may make the gas fees a fraction of what they are right now. So, but it, this is time sensitive because you have until the 23rd of February and Denkun is probably coming on March. So if you want to qualify for mode, then you probably will need to do that. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to do this bridging via their official bridge. You can bridge via Rhino, and via Orbiter Finance. And by doing the Rhino, then you would qualify, start qualifying for this quest. So uh, we need to be wise. And that's why another video about uh, qualifying for this uh, L2 uh, for this airdrop will be created and uploaded to this channel. And again, guys, this is another reason why you need to subscribe to Startup Central. So uh, again, this is a big summary of upcoming airdrops. And of course, uh, some information about snapshot staking. Uh, if you have been following the videos that I have been uploading, then congratulations, guys. You have uh, received a number of tokens, uh, some some probably around over a thousand dollars, some probably some two thousand uh, dollars, just by that dimension airdrop and a wormhole. Hopefully, wait, guys, 
uh, that'll be another couple thousand dollars or probably guys, because I've heard that they have more money to airdrop. Probably could be five figures. I don't know, man. I would be happy with $10,000, wouldn't you? Okay, guys, if you find this video interesting, useful or entertaining, do like this video and subscribe to Startup Central because, again, we are going to be uploading a ton of content about qualifying for airdrops, about finding the next crypto gems and, in general, making money with crypto. See you in the next video. Bye-bye now.